So welcome back everyone, Mike here. Before we do anything this afternoon, I need to go mow my mom's grass. I'll meet you down there. Oh, yeah. So the first part of this video was from yesterday afternoon and last night and as soon as I got done washing and greasing the excavator it started pouring down the rain but we actually need the rain it's been pretty dry you could probably tell from that video a lot of areas of the lawn and down at my mom's place are starting to get brown already it kind of looks like you know late July or early August instead of the beginning of June but the plan here this afternoon before it rains again I'm going to keep working around this building here. I have everything stoned, you know, to that side of the building. I got the landscaping done over there. And what I've been trying to do is just work my way around the building here. I have this pile of topsoil here. I already moved it once out of the way. But today I'm going to start putting this dirt where I'm going to need it. And I'm going to need a bunch of it right out in here. As soon as this patio is poured, which will be very soon, I can spread all this topsoil in here. In here over top of the cistern tank and get this seeded matter of fact I'm gonna get this tank filled uh, later this week because I'll need that water to get this grass growing especially this time of year but you can kind of see what I've got going on here and by the way that cherry tree right there I'm gonna leave it for now it's not really in the way but eventually that tree is gonna come down but I'm gonna have this road come down around here right down through there this will all be grass right here. So I'm going to take some of that topsoil, like I said, some over here, some down below. I need some over where the electric line is, way over on the other side of the driveway to fix that up. And then what I have left, which should be quite a bit, that's a big pile of dirt right there, and it's really good dirt. But what I have left, I'm going to take down below. I got a spot down by the uh, woodshed. And I'll just pile it up down there. It's always good to have a nice pile of dirt around, you know? Nice pile of topsoil when you need a little bit. You can just go get it. All right, first thing I'm going to do is uh, smooth this up a little bit right here where I'm going to dump this topsoil. This is all that good shale fill that I put in here.
I'll tell you what, it has been hot here. I mean, real hot. Now, I know it's not hot like it gets down south, but it's about uh, 85 and been real humid lately. Down in Louisiana, they probably wear long sleeve shirts and uh, hoodies and that kind of weather, but pretty hot for us here. By the way, I wanted to mention, uh, if you remember a while back there, people were sending us license plates, old license plates to put in the building, do a whole wall or something. Well, uh, Melissa's been sending out thank you notes, and when she does, she includes a, uh, like a split happen sticker or sawdust is man glitter sticker, something like that. And now people are emailing us pictures of them, you know, putting them on their tractors or their side by side or whatever. So that's pretty cool. But if you have any old license plates and you would like to send them in, uh, it's Outdoors with the Morgans, P.O. Box 2140, and that's uh, Cranberry Township, PA. 16066. This dirt is absolutely beautiful. I'll get you a close up of it here in a little bit. Many people probably don't get excited about dirt like I do, but this is nice stuff. And you could tell on the other side of the building there where I planted that grass how quick it came in and how nice it looks. That's no fertilizer, no nothing. Just seed, water, and I use straw for mulch comes in great. how nice this is but I'm uh, hearing thunder all around me right now see what happens all right so I probably need uh, just three or four more buckets here and that'll be enough and by the way this area here above the uh, cistern tank I'll dress that up with the excavator little handwork and then right below that I'm going to put a wall, uh, just a giant concrete block. They're two feet by two feet by six feet long, and that'll uh, be right beside the driveway there. So yeah, a couple more buckets here, then I'll take some more over to the other side of the driveway, like I said, and then I'll still have a real big pile to take down below that I can use in the future for something. Look at this service here. We made a Hello Fresh. And the containers, wow. the leftover containers, to take a lid off. It looks like you just got takeout or something. It does look like that, but really, it's a HelloFresh. And Hunter and I have had our share, so we backed up yours into our leftover containers that I saved from uh, Longhorn Steakhouse. And um, then we have extras of these. But um, we had to get out of the house where we'd keep eating it. So <laughs> I'm like, come on, let's take Dad his. <laughs> it's starting to... Uh... Thunder, thunder all it. around me here. Yeah, I hear it. But we'll see what happens. We can't go back in until <laughs> I take that. That's right. Or to um, you go in and eat some more. It's just the three of us, and uh, it goes a long way. Good deal. Thanks, Hunter. Rain delay. All right, I got uh, rained out on the little topsoil project there. Uh, we had a nice shower for about a half hour, and I thought, oh, this will be good. This will just keep the dust down. And then it poured down the rain for another half hour. I mean, rained really hard. So what I'm doing here now, I'm coming down here to this log pile. I got this load of saw logs a couple weeks ago, and there was one cherry log in here they really caught my eye. There's a lot of nice wood in here, but this one looks fantastic. Now, I didn't get a good look at it before, but it's on top of the pile, and I'm going to try to get it out of here and saw it tomorrow morning. What I'd like to do, if possible, is uh, 
each morning, you know, split a little bit of firewood or saw log, something like that, start building an inventory of both firewood and lumber. But I don't know if I'm gonna get this out of here. It's a pretty big log. I gotta kinda of pull it out without, it's coming, without rolling everything down onto the dump trailer. Oh yeah, it's coming right up. Oh boy. This log looks absolutely fantastic from what I can tell so far. This is where one of those uh, rotator things would be handy. It really would. Slider on it. Try to make sure I don't swing into the dump trailer. Boom. Oh, this is a great log. I'm telling you. I think it's going to be fantastic. We'll get her out of here and take a look at it. to get a better bite on it because uh, I think I'm gonna have to lift it over the dump trailer and I definitely don't want to drop it on it and I don't want to hit this stack of lumber here beside me that you know I spent so much time stacking Do I swing over the dump trailer or swing over the lumber pile? We're clear. Well, there she lays in all her glory. This is a beautiful cherry log. Looks very clear, straight as an arrow. Good size log, really, really nice. Now on this end here, on the butt end, there's a little bit of rot right here in the center, but almost all these cherries get that right there. And what I'll probably do, I'll probably cut this log right about here. That'll get rid of that rot. Plus, I've got a lot of flare at this end anyway, and I'll still end up with a perfectly straight log. I don't know, 11 feet long or something like that. Yeah, this is going on a mill in the morning. Hopefully tomorrow it's not as humid as it is today. Look how the windows are fogged up from the air conditioning. And every time I get out of the cab, my uh, reading glasses are all fogged up. But anyway, in the next couple days, you can expect to see what's inside that cherry log. And I think I'm going to wrap this video up right now. So like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.